hello guys welcome to my channel this is the 50 second tutorial in this course and uh, in this tutorial we are going to see how we can create tables uh, in mysql so you know i have uh, mysql workbench open here and uh, you know in the sql editor section i'm going to get rid of this command drop database student because i want to create a database uh, you know called student so i just execute this query again and uh, in the schema section you know when i click on the refresh button i can see the student database appear again right so this database is uh, created now and uh, if i click on this little drop down uh, you know button to the left of the database name when i click on it i can actually see you know all the tables all the views the stored procedures and the functions you know that this database holds so you know if i click on the drop down for table I would see nothing because this database currently doesn't have any table. Now we're going to create a table in this database. And uh, before we use the command to create tables in MySQL, which is create table command, we'd have to first instruct, uh, you know, MySQL that we're going to use this database. So, you know, uh, whatever table we are going to create or whatever queries we are going to execute, you know, must uh, be, you know, executed for this database so i'm going to do that using the use command so i'll type in use and uh, then i'll just type in student and uh, put a semicolon and press control enter and uh, i don't see anything in the result set but uh, i see a message in the output window that you know this uh, query was executed successfully so anyway now i'm going to create a table called uh, student underscore info so i'll type in create table and then the name for the table which is going to be student underscore info and uh, you know you type in create table and then you know give a space and type in a name for your table then on the next line you type in an opening parentheses right and uh, then on the next line you have to type in the names for the fields or the column headers for your table so you know let's say you want to have id as a field so you type in id and then you have to you know type in a type for id so you want to maybe you know just store uh, student ids in here and uh, you know let's assume that all the student ids you know are uh, numeric values so that's why you can type in int here short form for integer and uh, then let's say you want this uh, field to also be the primary key for the table so you type in primary key and uh, you know this would ensure that this field gets a different value for each and every row in the table right so that's the purpose of having a primary key field in your table and then let's say you also want this field to automatically get a new value for every row so you know you want to start with one and then you want to you know get a value two automatically for the second row without manually entering a value you know while inserting data so you do that by setting auto underscore increment for the field so you know you type in auto underscore increment then you put a comma and then on the next line you type in the name for your second field so you know let's say you want to now have a, t a field called name so you type in name then give a space and uh, type in the type for uh, the field name let's say you want that to be of uh, variable character type and uh, you want it to have an upper character limit of 30 characters so you type in namespace varchar 30 and uh, the difference between char and varchar is that you know for a char field uh, you know if suppose you've defined the the maximum uh, length as 30 characters even if you enter a name that just has uh, seven characters or eight characters you know all 30 characters would actually be used so you know you would unnecessarily be uh, wasting your uh, memory whereas with the varchar you know if you have defined the upper limit as 30 and if you you know type in a name that has 15 characters and you would actually be using memory only for 15 characters you would be saving memory for you know the remaining characters so next let's say you also want to have uh, you know gender as a field and this again you know will take in male or female as two values so i can define it to be of varchar type and uh, you know this can have a maximum character limit of let's say 10 characters right and then uh, you also want their email addresses right so you type in email and then give a space and uh, then this will also be of varchar type but you know let's say uh, 
email can be of you know 40 characters so you type in 40 here and uh, next let's say you also want their dobs right date of birth and this can be of date type right and uh, finally you uh, you want something else or uh, I guess this is enough you know you don't want to get in too many values so after you've typed in the last uh, field name and the last field type you know on the last line just type in a closing parenthesis so you know this is going to complete your set of fields along with the the data types and all the you know uh, key options that you want to have for the table and uh, put a semicolon at the end after the closing parenthesis and when i press control enter in the output section i see the message create table you know student underscore info this was executed successfully because i see this green check uh, here right and uh, now if suppose i want to see uh, the structure of this table there are two commands that i can use the first one is uh, desc short form for describe so you just type in desc give a space and uh, type in the name of the table which is student underscore info and uh, when i press control enter in the result set i can see the structure of the table so you know these are the fields id name gender email and dob you know these are the types and uh, you know this uh, field is the primary key so you see uh, primary written here and then you also see that you know this field has uh, an extra attribute auto increment set and uh, since the id field is the primary key for the table it cannot accept null values apart from this all the other fields can uh, take in null values so you know you could actually not provide a value for these fields and still get away with it if you want to set more constraints you know like you've set primary key constraint for this field if you want to set other constraints for other fields like you know you want to have name as well as email as required fields as well then uh, you know you could type in not null after typing in the name and the data type for the field right so this is how you create tables in mysql and uh, you know we might actually see how we can create tables you know how we can execute this particular query in php2 but uh, you know even if we don't do that then you know how you create tables and databases so you know now you can get started with the uh, you know creating some tables of your own and uh, in the next tutorial or maybe in the next you know couple of tutorials we're going to see how we can insert some data you know in this table so anyway thank you so much for watching this video and uh, you may subscribe to my channel if you haven't already we'll see you in the next uh, tutorial till then take care